Hey everyone, this is Javert Valbar here for Inkscape Digital. Today we're going to be using the projector effect to remove an object in our scene using 3D planes. This project file was actually done by Simon Jones. His attempt at the removal came out better than mine, so I'll be showing his Mocha track and HitFilm setup. Let's get started by opening up a new Mocha project from HitFilm's menu and selecting the clip we'll be using. This is from one of Video Copilot's tutorials, so if you want to download the clip, I'll put the link in the description. I'll begin the tracking process by using the X-Blind tool to draw my shape here then changing to the Add X-Spline tool to draw the second part, and hitting the Track Forward button. After that's done, I'll turn off the cog wheel icon for that layer so that Mocha doesn't retrack it, and the whole process goes a little bit faster. Now something that Simon did was create a layer for Sam's head and shoulders. He did this because eventually he would track the background, and didn't want Sam's body to get in the way. By having Sam's layer in front of the background track, Mocha knows to ignore his presence in the video. Another tip he gave me was that in the layer's control panel, the order of the layers represents their position in the video's 3D space. On the very bottom, or the back of the footage, is the background track. Coming closer to the camera and further up the list is the floor plane, and finally in front and on top is the head and shoulders layer. For each layer, you should click the pink grid and surface icon. Align the surface to the video, and you can see here that the blue square is close to where I'll actually put my plane once it's back in hit film. You can check the accuracy of your track by scrubbing through and seeing how the pink grid reacts to the movement. Once all the tracking is done, I'll select all the layers and go to the Camera Solve tab. For this footage, the camera is set to Large Parallax Change, and this results in a solve quality of 99%. I'll export the camera data and save it to my folder, then hit Film Import it as a composite shot. So the next step is to create a clean plate, the picture that we'll project onto our planes later. I'll scrub through to a frame I like and go to Options, Export Frame. Open that PNG in Photoshop or whatever editor you use. For this case, I'll use the Spot Removal tool to get rid of most of Sam, and then use the Clone Stamp tool to clean up the messed up spots. Back in HitFilm, I'll import that picture and place it under the footage. Next, we're going to create the planes that will have our clean plate projected onto them. I'll start with the ground, and make this plane 3D and apply the grid effect onto it just so that we can see it better. Now we need to position this plane in 3D space so that it accurately represents the actual ground. To do this, we already have a 3D point that is locked onto our surface, so I'll go into the Transform Properties and select the Position and X, Y, and Z rotation. Copy them with Command or Control C, then go to the Ground Plane and select those same properties. Hit Command or Control P to paste them. So now our plane is in the correct spot, we just need to resize it to cover the area we want to erase. Once I'm done with that, I'll create another plane to serve as the background layer, using the same copy and paste techniques to place it in the frame. Now at this point, drag your timeline indicator to the same frame you used for the clean plate. Duplicate your camera, and name the bottom one static. Then go to its properties and turn off the keyframes for position and rotation for just that camera. Next drag the projector effect onto your planes and set the projection from to your clean plate layer, and the camera to your static layer. You should see now that your planes and clean plate move correctly to the 3D camera movement, and for the most part, your subject is completely erased. To clean this up a little bit, I'll just create some masks on each layer and feather them. Be sure to scrub through the whole video so that you don't get any pieces that are uncovered. Camera projection can also be used to set up a scene in 3D space from a 2D picture, and I hope to have a tutorial on that soon if I can get it to work correctly. But that's all for today. If you enjoyed this tutorial, leave a like or a comment below. Subscribe if you haven't already for more tutorials on HitFilm 3 Pro coming soon, and follow on Facebook and Twitter to stay updated. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.